what it is, guys, and holy sub spikes, what, I don't know what happened, but welcome everyone, I, I, uh, I definitely, deeply appreciate it, unexpected, I came in tonight, got set up, got ready to do the Super Strike video, and I look at my subs, and, uh, some way, somehow it exploded, so trust me, not arguing, I, I appreciate it, guys, it's, it's legitimately flattering. So, what we're going to do tonight is we're going to talk about the new uh, Super Strike event, the uh, Kid Vegeta that just dropped. I say just dropped. He ran really, really early on in the game, long before I even started. So it is all new to me in a way, but I do know a little bit about it because I do research the JP events to an extent. So, as far as he goes, we're going to have a quick talk about him. We're going to run the Metal Run, and we're going to talk about his character and whether you, this is one you should farm up or not. And first things first, uh, of course, this is my Frieza team right here, and I'm going to purge that team for the time being. I'm not going to run LR Frieza's events, at least not seriously. I might run them, you know, once or twice in a weekend. I'm not going to go ham like I am on Goku until I have my LR Goku, because LR Goku makes this event insanely easy. Uh, also, last time I ran LR Frieza, they didn't let you run the Bulmas, and I don't know why they didn't, but they didn't. She is a drop character, it doesn't make any sense, but they do now, best I can tell. I, I did give it a shot on Sunday, and last time they let me run her, so she definitely is going to be one that's going to go on that team. That power, though. So her mixed with dual LR Go Gokus is just going to destroy that event. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of characters that I need to upgrade. Him. Uh, don't need to upgrade him. Oh, and I did get a dupe of my Goku. I'll talk about that in the Goku video coming up. All right, where are some of the SRs that need to upgrade? Do, 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 do. She's a dupe. Boom, boom, boom. That'll work. Now, the reason I'm doing this normally, I do say normally, what you'd want to do is you would want to run a... Um, Ooh, in fact, I might need to go change that and get the right leader. You would want to run a monotech team because the techs are going to be str uh, naturally strong against the agility types. Now, whether that's going to go back or not, I suspect it will. Because removing the 100 cost just kind of ruins the whole event, in my opinion. It takes away the, the one challenge that there was to it. And it wasn't even really a challenge. It was just kind of a thing. Eh, he's keepless too. I'll, I'll keep him. So we'll have five key instead of six, oh well. Small price. But more to the point, is this, a, is this a, a, an event you should run? Only, and I, I emphasize only if you're going after LR Frieza and you're on a strict free-to-play diet. Um, I know LR Frieza is free-to-play per se, but... If you don't have a lot of the old characters, a lot of the drop characters, and things like that, he does do extreme damage. So in that regard, he is going to be a good one to farm up if you need more characters that do extreme or better damage. That said, he's very, very expensive right now. Because remember, all the other Super Strikes are currently on a uh, massive deep discount. So you do, you do not need the 100 team cost to run him. That's good news. You'll notice what I did is I just threw in the Super Strikes that I need to upgrade. So I'm gonna throw him up here. Oh, I don't have enough key for him. I'll still get off a of super attack though. All right, and we'll get off his super attack, and I won't worry about Beerus yet. We'll just drop down key. All right. Yeah. But so the long and the short of it is, for me, for my money, no farming it up is not worth. That said, running it a couple times so that you can get the one shot him so that you can get the stones because there's five stones up for grabs whether you realize it or not um because you do get a stone for beating it without a continue so the long and short of it is is it worth running a little bit maybe just just to get the stones probably yes because that's a single summon and you know the banners from time to time that we have right now pay out pretty well uh i still have not put more money into the game yet uh, whether that's going to happen or not is still up in the air. 
I'm probably gonna wait for other banners to be completely real with you guys. Um, of course, if we get another sub spike, that might change too. I might just want to do more summon videos because people love summon videos. What do you want? All right, let's pull Goku over here. So how, how should you run this if you decide you do want to run this? Well, if you have a number of tech characters like I do that you want to upgrade, remember character XP is up. So, oh, that was kind of silly. I uh, don't want to waste key though. Damn. I saw the purple key. So doing it this way will allow you to upgrade these characters. Now they're not going to do an insane amount of damage. And you do want to, for the most part, keep them out of the fight. You do not want to let them get hit too hard. But that said, it's a cheap and easy way to upgrade these characters without having to spend a whole lot on, like, friend summons and, you know, all those other support, or no, I'm sorry, not support, training item points. Alright. So, basically my tactic here is going to be to grab... My, is that the right one, or is he... Alright, he's a regular tech type. So I'm probably put Whis in the front. It doesn't matter, really, from the looks of it. They're about the same. I'll still put Whis up there, just because. Alright. I'm muttering to myself, I realize that. But if I drop that down... Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not gonna work. Perfect! He's only got six keys, so let's see how much, or six super attacks, so let's see what kind of damage that does. If you could find an SA-10, that'd be even better, but he should still do like 500, 400k. Mm. Man, that's why God Tanks is a boss. We still do get two metal drops, that's the one thing I was curious about. Um, so, and, uh... For those of you guys that have been around, uh, uh, my, my friend Addy, he actually just ran it tonight, and he got two card drops on his first run. So, there are benefits to it. Um, drop rates are up, uh, you get double medals, I'm about to get two dragon stones. Three missions completed. So there's that dragon stone. I will still get two more dragon stones for running these two, plus I get the dragon stone for the continue. Um, I probably have a, a turtle as well if I had to guesstimate. Yep, turtle and a dragon stone. So, if you need the five dragon stones, definitely run it, but I wouldn't go ham on it. I would wait, maybe run it like once a day for the cards, and then, you know, the medals every once in a while. It's not something you should go crazy for. Unless, unless you just need the character because you don't have the drop characters for LR Frieza. But even then, I would still say, spend your money on LR Goku. Because LR Goku makes the LR Frieza event insanely easy. Insanely easy. So that's a better use of your time and your money. I say money, in-game money, stones, stamina, you get the idea. So that is my sloppy take on this event. I need more caffeine, for real. So, he's an okay character. An SA-15 Extreme is never a bad thing. But on the other hand, there are other SA-15 Extremes that you can get right now. And uh, frankly, Ten Shinhan, if you don't have him, is way better. Because he has like a 40 or 50% stun rate just as a passive. So, if I had to choose between the two, Ten Shinhan without question or doubt. Both of them would be good. He's going to be better. And then there are other characters that you have that have even better damage... Uh, skills, I guess you could say, damage levels. They do, like, extreme or even supreme, and they might be even better for that event. So, the other thing to look at are Link skills. Now, I don't have his card. One moment here, I'll pull up his card real quick. Let's just go to the old Chrome. Let's do Super Strike, Kid Goku, or Kid Vegeta. Let's see. I'm not Super Saiyan Kid Vegeta. Not Super Kid Vegeta. Go away. Is that the right one? This is the one. 
There we are. Let's look at this fully upgraded. Oh, this is the upgraded one. All right. So his link skills are Saiyan Warrior Race. That's a good one. Prodigy, the Saiyan Lineage. Okay. So he's got some pretty good link skills. Plus a Super Strike, Link Skill, and Bombardment. So he's got some decent link skills. Um, I still, to this day, say that he's, like, mid-tier. Not a high priority, in my opinion. Yours, your, your battle might be different. Your card set or whatever might be slightly different. But um, he's one I'm going to go after eventually just because I want to have him. But he's definitely not going to... I don't think he's going to have a place on my, on my Frieza team going forward. So, because I'm going to actually... <clears throat> God, I hate to say it. It's going to be mostly text going forward. I'm not going to have the type advantage. But that's because they're going to be doing massive amounts of damage to him. So, keep an eye out for that. I'll do a video. You know what? Just to cover the whole thing, I'll do a video come Sunday when this when the freeze event drops. And we'll discuss it in a little more detail. Um, I've gone a little bit overboard on this video at this point. But you get the concept. I'm a little on the fence about him. And because of that, I'm not going to focus on him. But... Maybe I'll go ahead and farm them up throughout the week. We'll have them around for probably about two weeks. I haven't even looked at it. Normally, they run it daily for about two weeks. So you've got some time to really ponder it, look at the link skills, decide if he's going to be a good fit on your team, and formulate that going forward. But LR Frieza is the only reason to go after him. If, you don't have, if you're not going after LR Frieza, if you already have LR Frieza, or if you have better units, or if he doesn't fit in your team, don't bother. Completely don't bother. Wait for another stamina cell and do it then, if you just want to have him. Other than that, guys, that's kind of it. Um, I, it's kind of setting mixed mix signals. I don't want to. I don't want to say he's a bad character. That very very hesitant to say that because he is an extreme damage, super strike, extreme damage extreme damage units at uh, what's his damage modifier? Attack with plus fifty percent when performing super attack is very very good, and his multiplier is one hundred and thirty percent. 20% uh, attack boost at max SA. So he's going to do a decent amount of damage. You know, maybe with the 50%, maybe 200k. But remember, Chill did 600k. So, which was uh, Goku, not Frieza, but you get the concept. There's better characters out there. So I don't want to say yes. Uh, well, I don't want to say no. I'm definitely not saying yes by not shutting the door. That's basically my take on it. Anyway, guys, I hope that was at least <laughs> somewhat helpful. Uh, I will go ahead and run LR Goku here in a few minutes, upload that video too. We're going to talk about it a little bit on that. And other than that, guys, uh, as always, like, comment, share, and or subscribe. And if you want anything else, guys, as always, hit me up on Booker. You can always ask questions and all that shit there. And I'll lay your ass out next time.